How's it going guys? It's been a little while since I made a video, but I got a new kind of toy today and it's a Ego string trimmer, but I have a couple more things for it. A little eight inch cutting disc I'm going to test out and see, but I have some uh, tall grass and weeds and everything behind me. I'm going to see how it does. So I'm going to test that out. So I got the carbon fiber version off eBay with the power head. It's really nice. You put the string all the way through it and you click that button and it winds it up for you. I'll try to do this one handed and try it out. I did do a good job, cut it all evenly. The part I did cut, so yeah, it's pretty good. All right guys, so I made it to my brother's house and he's selling his house. We're trying to make you know everything look a little bit better. So we have this corner back here that keeps his firewood and we brought the new Ego trimmer, as you can see it's sitting over there and that saw blade I was talking about. So I'm going to see if we can clean this up a little bit. Um, I think what we're going to do is pull all the sticks off the side over here. And then might use the weed eater part a little bit. And then I'm going to swap to that um, saw cutting blade and get rid of these little saplings that are growing up here. So let's see how this works out. Hopefully everything goes smooth. All right, I'm gonna see if I can use the weed eater and get some of this thin stuff out so I can even see the sticks. As you can tell, it uh, gets caught up in there pretty easily. So we're gonna go ahead and get more of these sticks out of here and swap to that saw blade. Well, sadly enough, we're gonna use the string because the saw blade does not work on this model. So we're gonna have to try to get one that goes on my edger and we'll try that. All right, well, that's kind of as far as I got for tonight. I'm going to come back tomorrow and grab all this brush behind this tree that you can kind of barely see and haul that off to our burn pile at the house. But that's pretty much it for now. All right, guys, I got the rest of the brush loaded up on the trailer. We're back here at the house. I'm going to put this in the brush pile, burn pile. Looks a lot better over there, but you know, it's still not grass or anything, so it still needs some improvement. But good enough to sell it, so I'm gonna try unloading this. 
luckily these Harbor Freight trailers are like a dump trailer or tilt trailer. So I pulled the pins. I'm going to try to back up on these doors a little bit and see if I can, you know, kind of dump it in the middle of the pile. But we'll see how it goes. See, I definitely don't want to fall off the doors, which is what I'm starting to do. <laughs> so I'm going to see if I can dump it myself. I don't want to go any farther back. I'm actually a little too far back, if anything. But let's see what we can do. Okay, so what I did is you get a toe strap. I kind of, I think I'm just going to be able to yank it by hand. I'm going to stand at the back of the brush pile. Pretty much it has a loop in the end of the strap. So I put a stick in it and I wedged it down in there. I'll see if I can just yank it off the back. All right, well, that wasn't ideal, but I got to work. So I'm trying to keep most of it in the pile and not keep spreading the pile into the grass any further. But yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.